Hello. Okay, what's this? This is weird looking. All right, so I'll start at the beginning. Uh, this is a guitar I built to, um, to experiment with. I call this guitar Algernon. Another pretentious name. Okay, but this is, it's from a novel. Some of you might know this. Um, it's from this science fiction novel from the, night, from the 50s. And the idea is that there was this laboratory. I'll give you a brief synopsis. Laboratory uh, scientists come up with this treatment. They give, it, give this treatment to a mouse, and the mouse starts becoming very intelligent. And then they give it to the janitor, and he starts to become extremely intelligent. And in a short amount of time, he's much more intelligent than any of the scientists. And, um, and he's enjoying his, uh, his intelligence, and at this point, the mouse begins to diminish in intelligence so it's, it's it doesn't last right and and he returns to his janitor status and all is well anyway uh allegory from the 50s but anyway the idea is that it was he was given something and it was taken away so that's exactly what i do with this guitar i give it different tops and then i take them away and i put something else on um and i made this guitar specifically for that it's an om shape uh it has you know, and it's all nicely made, so it's all very playable and stuff. But the neck, for instance, screws on with three sheetrock screws. Um, here in the back, I have a panel that I can remove. Um, and this allows me to open up the guitar and do stuff in there, like glue in extra braces or remove braces or shave them down or whatever I want to do without taking the string tension off. One of the problems with guitar, trying to figure out what does what when you're building guitars is that uh, our sound memory is kind of defective, you know? Just like when you're A, being a guitar, you pick up a guitar. After you've been playing another one, you pick up another guitar and you go, wow, this one's completely different. It's completely weird. And you play it for a few minutes and then it sounds like a guitar is supposed to sound. Um, we adapt to what we're hearing. So the amount of time it would take to take off strings and do a thing and then put it back on, it's harder to tell. So I built this guitar just for that reason. And also if I have some wild idea like this, I can do it without having to build an entire guitar and, and you know, risk having something hideous that I can't do anything with. So I came up with this idea. It's not my idea. Many people have noticed that having a hole in the middle of the guitar is not really ideal in a lot of ways, you know. Um, what having a hole in the middle of the guitar, the sound hole there, does is effectively take you know the top third of the guitar is not really contributing much to the sound uh you know we we do our best to sort of reinforce around the sound hole and we have a transverse brace that goes here pretty much this part is forget it um and everything below the sound hole is what's vibrating with the uh, my idea with this guitar was that you know i could change it from a sort of a, a circular area surrounding the bridge to more of an oval area if it even works that way, I don't know. But um, this guitar, which this is probably like the eighth, tenth top I've had on here, has taught me more than um, anything else in guitar making. Well worth it. And if you're a luthier and you're looking at this, and this is totally worth it to do something like this. Just have... I did this first with like a cheap Epiphone. Um, and it just had, you know, laminated sides and back and... A crappy neck and it just it wasn't showing me really because it wasn't a nice guitar to begin with this is a pretty nice guitar to begin with so anyway i wanted to get this idea this has like kind of radial bracing like i've got a patch under the bridge and then some braces that go out like this i drew up five or six patterns before i put this thing together and um came up with this idea um to just get more operating area and then these these little sound holes are are like basically the same amount of area that you would have uh with the regular sound hole so the same amount of porting but you know i kind of like drew i think it's kind of cool looking let me play a little bit um i think it's a really cool sounding guitar <laughs>
I don't think I'm going to switch over my production to to this guitar. I mean, I have a... I, I've built a lot of guitars at this point, and I'm just, like, I have all these ideas. I feel like uh, with my regular guitars, I've reached kind of a plateau. They're all sounding pretty good, and I'm pretty happy with it, and I'm tweaking little details here and there, here and there. But um, I want to try new stuff, you know, see what's, see what's out there. Um, and I think this is definitely worth pursuing. Um, now, I one of the first things I did was take off the back and I, I glue a couple little finger joint finger braces in there because um, I thought the, the high end was a little bit weak. Uh, it really did help. Uh, that sounds horrible. Let's see. I love this guitar. My, the last top I had on here, I was really sad to take it off because it was, I had it on there for like two years. I wasn't doing any homework and um, it sounded great. So it was kind of sad to take it off. But anyway, there it is. It's Algernon. It's my, it's my experimented, experimental guitar and um, highly recommend you do this if you're a builder and you want to try, try some ideas without much uh, repercussion. So there it is. I know some of you were following this uh, while I was making it, and I wanted to show you what it sounded like. So, uh, thanks a lot, and I'll talk to you later. Right there, buddy. All right.